Good morning everybody. Welcome to my channel. It might not be morning for you, I realise that every time I say it. It's definitely morning for me, it's ten past six. I've been up since half past five. I did some yoga. I'm trying really hard to every day do a little bit of mindfulness for me and my nervous system and my brain and all of my stretching and everything like that and it's nice actually I feel a little a little calmer already we're going to a show today we're going for another round of music practice with Obi hmm. uh, as you probably saw in the last not last vlog the one before it was a bit over exuberant uh, so we're going to we're going to go and ride it again. Different venue this time. We're going to Kiso uh, because in not this coming Friday, or well, the Friday that will have just been when you see this, the following Friday we're going to the Nationals. I'm still undecided as whether I'm going to vlog or not because I really want to concentrate. <laughs> um, and although vlogging can be great, sometimes it can be distracting. So, yeah, so I'm going to take you with me today. I'm going to the yard now. It's mega hot in the UK at the moment, like 30 degrees or so. So I'm going to the yard now so that I can um, ride some horses before I go, basically. We're leaving at half past nine. So, yeah, uh, that's what I'm doing this morning. I've already spent, spilt half my cup of tea down the inside of my car. Great. You good? So, anyway, let's get going just arrived at the yard. First job is going to be to feed the horses. So that's all the horses, bar one, well two, uh, munching away. Got another one to feed. So because it's been so hot, I've been brave. And it takes a lot because stuff goes wrong in the field. Well that's the way you feel anyway. But Indy and Kenko well, out at night now, which is really nice. It means they get to be out for longer, when it's cooler, when there's not so many flies. So I'm just feeding them in the field this morning. Um, here they are. Good morning. There's an apple in there for you, Kenko. You've got to eat it first. Good girl. Ruffy, what are you doing? Good morning, Indy Bindies. She's quite big now. She's she's nearly eight weeks old. She's really good. She's easy to handle and manage and pick her feet out. She's seen the farrier once. She's really, she's really lovely and I'm really, really pleased that she is so lovely. She's growing up to be a very smart little foal. Um, I don't know how much of this videoing I'm gonna be able to do this morning as in getting these horses exercised because, well, I've got quite a lot to do and not a lot of time to do it. So I'll do my best, but sorry if I don't take you with me for all of it. I've also only got one battery in this camera so I actually think I shouldn't take you with me too much, otherwise I'm not going to get to video the show. So maybe some clips. We'll go with that. First up on the riding list is Mosey, who's had decided, who had decided that she was going to bring some of her breakfast with her, hence why her nose band is undone. Can't do that out one-handed. Maybe I can. It's impressive.
crazy old mo with her crazy old mane. <laughs> I do try to tame it, but failed dismally, evidently. So Mo is the mare that had a foal last year that died, um, if you're new here, <laughs> which is a bit of a morbid topic, but um, she had a foal and it passed away and it was awful. There's a video all about it. It's really bad year of my life. Anyway, um, she is now back in work and I gave her a long period of rest because she was a bit unsound. She's got a side bone in her feet and uh, yeah, I've given her a long period of rest and now I'm bringing her back into work. I've kind of had her in work, out of work, in work, out of work over this last six months or so. So yeah, but she's now feeling brilliant. Um, I have to be very careful with her. She can't go be turned out on hard ground. Right, made it through the gate. So she can't, she, I have to carefully manage her basically so we can ride on the soft, we can hack uh, on grass on straight lines. I mean I can ride her on the roads if I wanted but it would it would be harder work for her so I choose not to do that. Um, every now and again a little bit but hardly. But yeah predominantly I'm just so pleased because she's 16 and obviously you know 16 isn't young but it's not really old either and she just doesn't feel like she wants to retire like you've just seen how she's cantering around like she's always been like that like pulling and really strong and quite like cheeky and bouncy and that kind of thing and while that is still in there i can't just put her in a field because she can't have foals anymore she could have a foal by embryo transfer, which is something that I would like to do, but not this year. Um, so, yeah, basically that's the story of Mo. And this is Bentley getting a bucket. Anyway, I'm going to go and get on another horse. Next up, the beautiful Zora with a little bit of straw in her mane. So I'm starting uh, with the groundwork today so I can really see how she's feeling from the ground and then solve that a little bit using the patterns and then have a little ride. I'm not going to do loads today, we're going to some training tomorrow but I just had a few things that I wanted to kind of go over from our training and shows last week and uh, yeah, see how we get on. Don't judge me for the no chaps, I'm livid. So I've got Parlanti chaps, right? And they're so nice, I love them. I wear them every day. And because, Zora, we're not quite finished. You can't just park, can you? Because uh, I wear them every day, they wore a hole in them. Well, I wore a hole in them. I've had them ages and they've been such great chaps. Gators, whatever you want to call them, depending on where you're from. And uh, basically, I took them to uh, it's a lovely lady's yard and um, left them for her to collect. And somebody got there first. They were in a safe place. They were in like somebody's, you know, like on livery yards, you get these like lock-up spaces. 
they were in one of those it wasn't a locked room but there was somebody's feed and boots and all sorts in there so that's where i left them <laughs> somebody took them so i don't have any chaps so uh i'm either riding in my socks which is not my favorite or my long boots which also is not my favorite because it's very hot at the moment so anyway that's why i'm wearing my socks so yeah. really pleased with zora actually beautiful girl just uh, wanted to kind of go over the canter transitions a little bit and uh, make sure I've got that bending and starting in that really relaxed way because we're at home uh, meant that I could really, yeah, really do that. So I'm really pleased. I'm not going to film me exercising any more horses now because I'm going to kill the battery on this camera. Uh, so the next thing you will see is us getting ready to go to the show. What did I say that? Get yourself a four-year-old that you can practice handy pony on. <laughs> I literally picked it up off the side of the arena as we were walking past and the rope, like, which is now dangling down her leg, like dangled all the way, trailed across her, her body. She didn't even notice. She's so great. Time to catch these little babies in. Some of the boys having a little bit of field time before it gets too hot. Here he is. Getting ready, having his hooves brushed because he's King HRH. He's actually had a bath this morning because he was so covered in poop. So he's still a bit damp, which uh, will hopefully keep him nice and cool when he's traveling. Right. Oh, we need to put some of that. Um, you go up to the tack room and get some hydrate, not tack room, feed room. What we're using to stay loose. We are using the Not In Focus. We really like this stuff. It's really like the brush is really small. <laughs> so you can get it like really detailed. If you can open it. Nice. Shut up, Ralph. Very boring. Oh, what are you doing? Don't do that. Put your nose in. Good boy. No, put your nose in. Put your nose in, please. Silly. We've made it into the lorry. We are on time. We are on our way. I think we've forgotten. I don't think we've forgotten everything. Anything. I hope not. Mm. Anyway, time to eat a banana. How cool is this? Oh, really? She said you can overtake. Oh, God. Okay. That's scary. Are you sure? It's not a very big gap. Are they okay with that? Yeah, she's happy. Oh, Christ. She's like really getting, telling me to get on with it. Oh, sorry. I'm scared. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> we got them. We have uh, successfully managed to park in the shade. I'm... Uh, Gonna go to the toilet as I always do when I arrive at a show, and uh, gonna make sure I know my number, and then get uh, get ready. I'm feeling okay today. Good, perfect. I don't think I'm gonna vomit. Wouldn't be a show if I hadn't forgotten something. I got no stock or gloves or hairdo stuff. I won't come with you because I've got to the <sighs> I've got to go and got to go and buy some stuff. For goodness sake. I'm not sure about this. I look a bit like a vicar. It's got very long. Anyway, some new gloves. I got sparkly bits on. I've needed new gloves for edges anyway, so everything happens for a reason and all that. Is this number correct? No, it's number 15 he needs. to round two of Miriam trying to write a freestyle. Ding ding. So the music wasn't as loud, which was beneficial because he didn't jump repeatedly when it made a change, which is positive. Uh, I was relatively pleased. The left hand was sort of trailing behind him in some sort of rubbish way there. And then he did actually hold square, so I took it and then went with it. Um... 
So the judge was quite mean. I mean, I say mean, I mean un ungiving of the marks. I picked up, I borrowed a stick off somebody. Um, and actually, I was very pleased with the medium trot. I apologise now, by the way, guys, for the videoing. Michelle is videoing and uh, it's not her favoured job at a show. So it's a bit all over the place, the videoing. But anyway, um, yeah, I borrowed a stick because he'd felt a little bit on the hot side. It was like 33 degrees. So I wanted to just carry one in case I needed it. I actually didn't need it at all. So that was really positive. Um, I got a bit ahead of the music. So normally I meant to canter at A. And I actually uh, cantered, had to canter a bit uh, before that. Anyway, a bit after that even. Oh, what am I talking about? Anyway, the medium canter was much better. No bolting ensued. Um, I still found here when I did my give and retake that he just sped up a little bit. So I just had to make sure I took a half halt and really kind of put the weight back over the hind leg and made him wait. This was nice here. Little nose flick, but not too bad. That was a nice bit of counter canter and then the transition. So I was pleased with that. Um, I felt the canter was actually good and active. I was pleased with how the canter felt. Sometimes... I get comments on my YouTube from you lovely lot saying that it's a four-time canter, which is obviously lovely and not what it's meant to be. Canter is a three-time pace, a three-beat pace. Medium canter there was a bit on the pathetic side, to be honest. I'm feeling rather self-deprecating. Oh, Ralph has decided to start wrestling with something on the other sofa. Sorry about the noise. And again, getting a bit fast in the give and retake. Ralph, please be quiet. I'm trying to talk to people. Thank you. But here he did the counter canter well, he held it well, and it was, yeah, it was good actually, and active. I like that it was active. So that was one of the comments from the judge actually, that it was active. I added a little bit of medium steps there, just so in case I hadn't done a good enough job. Uh, the trot felt good actually, it felt swinging and forward. Now the one comment that I got from the judge was that the trot wasn't supple enough on my circles. Now... I'm watching this and I'm thinking, it's really supple. <laughs> Sometimes you do get a comment from a judge and you just don't quite know where it's come from. And that's just part of it. And it's completely, obviously, subjective. And we have to take what they say. That's why we're there. We're paying for their opinion, essentially. She did only give me one comment on the entire sheet, which was a bit uninspiring. So, yeah, you just have to kind of take that and, and go to the next one as such. But I was really pleased, actually. I felt like he was very um, fluid and active and obedient and on the bit and all of the things. And the medium trot here felt really super. Sometimes we just don't get that flick and that push. And uh, I was, yeah, I was super pleased with that. bit warm as you can see the face is perspirating rather I didn't have to ride on my jacket which was nice actually get to show off that lovely Sam Shield shirt that I wear free walk was nice I felt like he was really stretching and swinging and fits well with the music the free walk which is kind of it's nice that riding the music is nice because you get a real I don't know uh you kind of can go with it you know the rhythm helps and that kind of thing now, I got six and a half for my medium walk, and again, I couldn't really tell you why. Felt good. I think it looks pretty good. Maybe could have been a little softer in the neck, but she didn't tell me why I got six and a half, so that's pretty frustrating. And then we have our center line, nice and straight, and a little bit of the medium steps to finish. Little flick of the toe, flick of the tail. Big smile from me, because I'm like, thank goodness I survived. And uh, a bit of a wonky halt. But not bad. Really pleased with him there. He's a good boy. He's a boy. Never. Oh, my God. Nice I've got, like, the shakes. Going home. The shakes from being so warm. I'm just going to pull my kit off a bit, and then I'll come and help you pull his off. Very, very, very happy. The music wasn't as loud, interestingly. Which I don't think that's necessary bad thing but um actually just really pleased with how he 
was with me. He stayed off my leg despite being super, super hot. And um, in general, that was much more obedient. Really, really, really happy. Really happy with that last run before nationals. Woo! Were you happy? Are you like it? You like the music now? Yeah. You think it's okay? Having a bit of his hydrate. He likes that hydrate. Sometimes he won't drink at shows, he's funny, so we give him this hydration stuff. It's really good. I'll put the link in the description below. Do they do ice lollies in this joint? Not sure. Really do with an ice lolly. Are they used to do ice creams? Are they still I'm just going to shut the door. Good boy. Yeah. That's nice, huh? Oh my god. Thank you. Can you get a picture of the end of this bit? These whiskers, look. The only problem with this hydrate is this. Oh, look at him. You having a nice time, having a little wash? It's so squinty weather, you know? Um, we got 70.28 and I'm very pleased. Um, I, I think it just lacked a bit of quality, basically, which is probably no surprise considering I had my handbrake firmly jammed on last week. So uh, this week, letting that handbrake off was obviously had to be a little tentative because I didn't want to see the wheels to fall off. Um, he got some six and a halfs and stuff for his, for his trot and said he could be more supple. Probably completely fair. Uh, I got a slush puppy to uh, say thank you for all of this. Um, so uh, we were first in our section and then third in the full test. So yes, very pleased. It's okay, you can be in the video. We got 70%. Seventy percent. Not bad. Not bad. A bit mediocre for music, but anyway, there we go. We are going to drive back now and collapse somewhere in the shade. I think we have taken such a strange detour in the lorry. Anyway, um, I want to just talk about the lack of comments on my test sheet. Um, there are two. No, one actually, and then just a final comment. I don't think maybe she wanted to be it today, the judge. Uh, just that I it could have been more supple. So yeah, it's always hard when you get a sheet back like that that's a bit average. Okay, the score is good, but for music you do tend to get a higher score anyway. But um, yeah, it's rather empty. Thank you. See that? Very sparse. Is it good? Is that bad? I don't know. Anyway, she liked the choreography. Uh, hmm, so our traffic lights is not ideal. It's not the route we are meant to be taking. Anyway, hopefully we'll be back on track soon. And then we can get home. What is this gift you have for me, Michelle? Some it's giant like but bigger. <laughs> <laughs> I can't put that in the video. <laughs> They do not look like plant-based hot dogs. Oh. Apparently they're great. By moving they mountains. They are so nice. They're frozen though, so I'm not sure I'm going to throw them in my garden on the way home. I haven't even got my house key, so I'm going to have to take them to the yard with me. That's fine, because, you know, I mean, they're vegetarian, so you can, even once they've defrosted, you can refreeze them. Refreeze them. Defrost them. Um, not too hot. Little wash now. Yeah, he can have a little wash. It was de destined to be too hot in the back of there with our random diversion that we took. We'll wash him in the middle bit, maybe. Goodness me. Uh, well, anyway, we're back at the yard. Um, really, really genuinely pleased with how today went. Very happy with all of what happened. Little wash for you. Kenko. You're not meant to use her as a uh, like something to put your hay over the top of. I missed it, but poor Indy. Oh, this is a great bit of video. Poor Indy, who is over there, who I was trying to be the one videoing, uh, was literally covered. So, well done. That was nice of you, wasn't it, Kenko? She used to like go like. <laughs> Look at Indy. Indy, what is this water? Indy is uh, getting a bit of a secondary, secondary shower here. She doesn't seem to mind too much. Is it nice? Nice and cool. Nice and cool. Hmm. Funny girl.
coffee and your mama. Kinko. Kinko, don't spoil it. Don't spoil the moment. Good girl, bring it here then. Bring it here. Good girl, leave it. Thank you. There you go, Mo. Service or what? Okay, go get another one now. Go get it. Good girl. Yes, go on. I do want more. Go get more, please. I need uh, seven more, please. Go. Go to the apple shop. Thank you. Hmm, this is taking longer than expected. Bring it here then. Bring it, Lex. Good girl. He leave it. Oh, that's a very small. Bentley, no. Oh, it's a very small one for you, Obi. Sorry, but it's an apple. Good. Thank you. Good girl. Well done. Very good. There's no good having a gun dock if you don't teach it to pick up apples to bring for the horses. They've always done this, the dogs think they're like balls, so they go and get them and then bring them back and then the horse eats them and then they go and get another one. It works very well. <sighs> so I've just got home, as you can see. And I'm going to eat something, because um, I haven't eaten very much. And then I'm going to do a load of work on my computer. And then me and George are going to have some barbecue food. <gasps> I've left something in my car. I've left those giant frozen sausages in my car. Right, I'm going to go and do all of these various things, have a shower, and then sit down and do a load of work, and edit this video. Um, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. I am feeling very prepared now for next week. We're meant to have some training tomorrow, but it's a bit up in the air because my coach, somebody drove into the side of his car. So, yeah, he might not have a vehicle for tomorrow. So, uh, yeah, we'll wait and see on that one. But if I, even if I don't go tomorrow for training, I do feel organised and like I have a plan. And my friend Millie is coming with me to Nationals, so yeah, that would be great. She is a very good coach and a great help to me because she's my best friend. So she knows all about me and my weirdness. So, not weirdness, but anxiety. And when I say weirdness, I mean, you know, all about my different things that I have going on. So yeah. Uh, so I'm probably going to leave this video here, and I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please like and subscribe and all of that jazz, and I will see you guys for next time. Thank you so much for watching, and goodbye for now.